You try it. Yes. So, I'm not giving you any guarantee about this meditation. To be frank enough, I cannot give you any guarantee about this meditation because I may not be able to explain in a proper way. Right? But I will try to explain as far as I know. That's all. After uh, knowing this, you may develop uh, that also I don't know. But my duty is, because this is the part of the lecture, spiritual healing lecture, I will try to make you understand uh, to the best of my knowledge. So you will read the entire lecture by yourself. Uh, I told you, go to the, the World, World Teacher Trust website. And this is the latest book uh, printed by me of the EKS lectures, this is the fourth volume and uh, some spiritual constitution. World Teachers Trust. World Teacher. Not Teachers. World Teacher Trust. Questo qui è l'ultimo testo. Dot org. Dot org. Dot org. Okay, put the uh, and uh, one one uh, one very beautiful man. Not beautiful, he's not this beautiful. A nice man. His name is Lurjev. He's from Bern, Bern, and he's uh, very fond of Master E.K. and very close disciple of Master Bharati Kumar. Whatever I print, I will send uh, the English books to him, and he will put it in the website of. Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, World Teacher Trust. Mm-hmm. And Maurya, my son is also making another very beautiful uh, website uh, only to put the books of Master Ike. Mm-hmm. In the World Teacher Trust, uh, you will get the books of Master Ike and you will uh, get the lectures of Master Ike audio. Mm-hmm. And English, both English and other lectures. Mm-hmm. And also you will get the lectures of uh, books of Master Bharati Kumar. World Teacher Trust. But Maurya is making a, a website, Kolpati Book Trust. Dot Arch. We did not release it so far. Mm-hmm. He is uh, now trying to put all the books in the Kolpati Book Trust. Dot Arch. Mm-hmm. I am the chairman of the Kolpati Book Trust. If anybody wanted to publish or do anything of Master E.K.'s books, mm-hmm. they have to take my permission. Mm-hmm. I am the global chairman of the Kulpati Book Trust. Kulpati Book Trust means is Kulpati Book Trust mm-hmm. means this is the organization of the master's books. Mm-hmm. So I am the total in charge, a global in charge of the master case books. Mm-hmm. So if you wanted to read any lectures given by the master EK in uh, Geneva and Amsterdam and uh, Brussels and so many places in Munich. And uh, he did not come to Basel and uh, uh, Lugano, but he went all the time he goes to Geneva. Mm-hmm. And all the lectures you will find in this four, vo- this is the fourth volume. Mm-hmm. There are four volumes. And some books are there in uh, German also. Mm-hmm. You, can, you can download them freely. Uh, they put it free. So you can go and... Uh, and the, uh, why I am telling you this is, if you read the complete lecture of uh, spiritual uh, healing, then you may go into this meditation mm-hmm. by understanding all the things, it's the 35 pages of lecture, you see. And if you go through the lecture, then you may understand uh, better than what I am telling you now, mm-hmm. right? To be frank enough. So, for the uh, information, I will read one sentence. And how difficult it is to understand. Uh, so we, so you will understand that electricity is space. He's, he's telling that. So you will understand that electricity is space, right? And space made active is electricity. Space made active is electricity. Okay, and electricity 
made the potential is space. Space. Potential. Spatial. Repeat the little huh? Can you repeat the last one? Yes. Yeah. Space made active is electricity. Mm -hmm. Space made active mm -hmm. is electricity. Electricity made potential is space. Okay. Allora. You just leave it. Non è ma l'essere potenziato non è. Secondo me non è la traduzione giusta, perché più potenzialmente. Perché mm -hmm. essere yes, potenziato yes. vuol dire che tu gli dai qualcosa. So you, you, cioè, you read the, the entire uh, uh, lecture, then you can understand better. Sì, perché è molto difficile. He explained so many things and then finally he gave a statement. Yeah. Unless you read the entire lecture, mm -hmm. you cannot understand the, a simple statement. Mm -hmm. That's why I told you. You read the entire lecture and then he explained so many things step by step and step by step and they, he gave a final statement. If you understand that, you have to go through the entire lecture. So don't worry about it. Then you will understand, so no problem. But it's like uh, water and ice. Yes. It's the same principle. Yes, the same principle. Yes. It follows the same principle, but it is a, a little more yes. higher. Right? Okay, now I'm going to the uh, meditation part. Mm -hmm. I am telling you again, there is no technique here to meditate. Mm -hmm. there is, in, this, in this part, there is no technique here to meditate. We are used to meditate with a technique. Mm -hmm. Here you will not find any technique to meditate. So what is the use of it? Whether you have to experience it or not, that is the only matter here. Unless you understand uh, the total lecture, step by step and slowly and slowly, then we will be able to understand what actually he is trying to teach us. If you read the entire lecture, then you will understand what he is trying to teach us. That is enough. The next step is the meditation. This is not the meditation, but it is the meditation. <laughs> but there is nothing to understand here. Suppose, for example, I will give an example. Mm. Suppose uh, if you give me a, a sugar, for example, a sweet, then how is it? It is so nice. Can you explain what is so nice? <laughs> you, have to, you have to take the sugar and you have to take the chocolate. Oh, it is so nice. What is nice? Can you explain? Yeah. Is it taste? Mm -hmm. This is the higher meditations. <coughs> These are the higher meditation. There is nothing to explain there. And whether you go into the meditation or not, <coughs> whether it will take 10 years or 20 years or 30 years or 10 minutes, that we don't know. But it is only an experience, there is no explanation. That's why I am trying to uh, uh, postpone and postpone and postpone. Okay. Because you will be totally disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> After I, I read this meditation, oh, what is there? <laughs> That's why I'm trying to postpone and postpone to prepare a platform. <coughs> Even now, that's why I'm telling you there is no guarantee from my side. I will just read and leave it. Even then you are interested, then I will close it. <laughs> After telling all these things, even if you say, oh, you are interested, then I will go for it. <laughs> okay, so now I will read uh, only one sentence, then you translate. Okay. Now close your eyes. No, no, don't eat this. No, eat. Now close your eyes. And observe your lungs respiration and observe the movement of your blood circulation and understand that something is being generated, generated in you. This is no problem. This, this is what we used to do it. Eh? This, this, this thing is no problem. Now close your eyes and observe your lungs respiration. Observe your lungs respiration and observe the movement of your blood circulation and understand that something is being generated in you. This is, this is the... We have to reach that point. Third point, what is that? Understand that something is being generated in you. This is the experience. And now we are coming to the point. And the space 
and the space where you are sitting or standing is a big lake of that energy of force right there we yesterday space energy so there you first i started the water and ice and then what the spirit and then matter and atom and atom is the spirit and the energy in the uh, uh, space and uh, space is the spirit and finally he said space energy now this is the continuation of that uh, explanation what is that and the space where you are sitting or standing the space where you are sitting or standing the space around you all of us we are sitting in the room so take out the room out we have to change the word we are sitting in the space you understand so we have to change the understanding uh, levels we are thinking that you are uh, sitting in the room but you have to change into the next dimension we are sitting in the space even the thought itself changes many things even this understanding itself changes many things even the thought itself change many things so i told you many times in many of my classes when there is no building here when there is no building here then what is there here when there is no building here what is there before there is a space in the space we build this building right then again what is there inside the building here what is there this is the information we don't know about it this is the information after the building after the building there is a space inside the building there is a space between two spaces there are the walls mm -hmm. in the same way around us there is a space inside there is a space in between there is the physical body right so what is the what is the barrier here this is physical body why you are not why we are not so spiritual you know why we are not so spiritual all the time we believe that we are the physical body because we are living with the spiritual we are, we are living with the physical body that all the time we believe that we are physical but what is there outside space what is there inside space two spaces are there in between you are that's why we have to try to elevate ourselves in our thinking levels we are not just physical beings we are something we are something else suppose if uh, if i take this paper suppose what is you 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 please don't uh, look at the lines you just feel this is total white paper what is there here nothing that is that is the space so when so, so if i put here on down Are there it's a dot in the space no no the total is the space uh -huh. and uh, i put the dot here uh -huh. something is here and space is separated okay. uh -huh. total space and something is here this is how the creation come out mm -hmm. from the space then this is our one right before uh, this dot there is nothing but everything is there but there is nothing you can't see anything everything is there in the space unless there is something in the space the creation of all the globes they cannot come out mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. all the globes and suns and the earth and moon and all the solar system millions of solar system, everything will be there in the space in an invisible way nobody can see anything there unless something come out right so here what you have to understand only before there is a space after there is a space inside there is a space but we are not aware of that we are aware of only one thing we are the physical beings that is the limitation here when once you understand the space outside and the space inside you are not the physical body you are the space by yourself that's why yesterday master told here 
Warte, du Space Energy, ich bin gerade da so weg. Ich lasse da gerade da so gar 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 nichts. So now we understand uh, even in the meditation again we are uh, meditating uh, the color uh, the shape or idol is it uh, logical it's pure common sense <laughs> <laughs> already we are in the physical body present here and uh, we are not aware of the space inside and space outside we are not aware of the god consciousness already we traveled for a long time <coughs> much more grasser and much more grasser and we are imprisoned in the physical body again in the meditation you again you are going back to, uh, to visualize uh, to worship a form like that is not so uh, practical so you understand yourself yourself is a space and <laughs> the space the body is form water should be there and out of the water ice block will come out again what next again ice block has to become the water what so we are made up of space or we are made up of god consciousness today or tomorrow we are the ice blocks water is the space right we are the atoms energy is the energy is the space we have to go back in your understanding and we have to understand ourselves as a space not as the physical being uh kali uh, the body is illusion in some way because it's made of atoms and atoms is nothing and it's space around you know see this what is this is clear one two three four is very clear the 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 ice the ice hmm? is a form mm-hmm. of the mm-hmm. you know say So there is nothing to meditate here. It's only under. It's only the understanding whether you will be in the state or not. It is the only matter here. There is what is there to meditate here? <laughs> is an understanding whether we can go into that state or not. That is the only matter here. Okay. Then I am. So far, so far it is okay. Babi, it's no problem. Huh? So far, is it okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. We are not telling yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then, so I don't think it is so difficult. Eh? We are going. <laughs> we are going smooth. Okay. And the you you remember this all the time. And the space and the space where you are sitting or standing is a big lake of that energy of force. you always remember this is, this is a very beautiful line and the space where you are sitting or standing is a big lake of that energy of force you have to feel it always we are we are we are not sitting in the chair we are not sitting uh, in the room we are not sitting in the house we are not sitting on any physical matter we feel that we are sitting in the energy of space this thing always we have to remember you understand so i will give you a small example suppose uh, when you are uh, sitting in your house then you live as you like you put your leg like this and leg like this and leg like this and put leg like you we can sit as you like Suppose uh, if we go to the temple, for example, or if we go to the church, or if we go to the uh, go to meet a holy man or a holy place, <coughs> can you behave like that? Why? Because we are aware we are not in our own house. We are in a church, or in a mosque, or in a temple, or in a holy place. we try to be so calm and peaceful and we follow certain discipline it is a feeling mm-hmm. in that it is a feeling mm-hmm. you understand the same chair same room same carpet same human beings even then we change everything it is the attitude mm-hmm. so you if you go further we have to understand 
we are not just human humans we are not just sitting in a room we are not just sitting on the chair you have to transcend yourself to a feeling that we are sitting in the space of energy mm-hmm. right and next coming to the next point when it is made active it means space when it is made active you call it your life force Quando when you made it active it means space when you made the space active then you call it as your life force you understand how to make it active just a feeling no prayer and no meditation no technique here whenever you are sitting here you used up uh, feeling you instead of feeling i am sitting in the chair i am sitting in the room i am sitting in the temple instead of that you feel yourself that you are in the space sitting in the space with a lot of energy around you this is what we call space made active and as said you have to all the time you have to make you have to make the space active with your understanding is the feeling that you are sitting somewhere else and you have to feel that you are in this space energy you are sitting in the space outside there is a space inside there is a space we are sitting in the space that's how the space around you will be activated and that should be your life force so try to understand what i am trying to tell you and what mas is trying to tell you try to put your entire mind on the teaching don't make there is like nothing to be meditated here right when it is made active you call it your life force when di- when it is passive you call it space when it is passive you call it space you understand how can i repeat it can you repeat it yes i will i will i will read this entire sentence huh? you can understand english uh and the space where you are sitting and standing or standing is a big lake of the energy of force and when it is made active you call it your life force when it is passive you call it space passive means when you are not feeling anything it remains as a space already this space but when you activate it when you feel that space is the energy when you feel that you are sitting in the energy that energy is nothing but the space when you feel like that then it will be activated and that that is what we call the life force if it thought we thought any feeling just come here and sitting like this on the chair and discussing something else the space remains as passive So that means it depends on you how exactly how all the space is there okay mm-hmm. all the space is there you have to activate the space mm-hmm. with your thought switch, we switch it on yeah exactly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, that's already it is there mm-hmm. that's amazing amazing that is that is a healing potential uh, healing is a very small word <laughs> a very very small word and uh, everything that that why every time i used to tell you one sentence everything is there inside mm-hmm. everything is there everywhere we are god by ourselves god is everywhere in you and me in me in me everywhere there is nothing to be seen there is nothing to be achieved there is nothing to be found because already it is there whether you are looking at it or not this is the only thing here and i gave you one beautiful example i gave this example many times suppose uh, there's a glass and uh, suppose is the candle for example if mm-hmm. you put a glass on it open glass mm-hmm. if you leave like that what happens uh, the smoke come out of the lamp and if you leave like this, if you leave that like that slowly and slowly the smoke come out of the glass the the fire it will cover generally we clean every day generally we clean every day suppose if you forget to clean layer by layer and by layer by layer it will become much more dark 
and much more dark and much more dark and much more dark. One time, one day will come, you cannot see the light. You can see only the dark layers of the smoke. That means uh, there is a light, is there or not? That the light is there already, but uh, you are not able to see the light because there is a lot, the layers of smoke. So if you want to see the light, what you have to do? Again, uh, you are going to light, uh, switch the light or you are going to take away the smoke. What you will do? You will try to take away one layer and one layer without breaking the, with the we should not break. <laughs> this is a physical body. The light is the soul here. All the outer layers are nothing but our different layers of, uh, different planes of our physical body. So inside uh, the light is here, what we are doing, we are cleaning uh, layer by layer and layer by layer, layer by layer, then if you clean one layer, you will see a dim light. If you go to the second layer, if you can find a much more light. If you clean everything, you see the light there, which is, which is, which is already there. We are not putting a separate light. No Christian light and no Muslim light, no Indian light, no Hindu light, no Buddhist light. Light is a light. The procedure what you follow to clean, those are the religions. One religion speak about one thing and another thing. So everything is only same. We have to learn how to clean the light. And then once uh, the darkness, uh, the smoke is cleaned, you, you see the light there. This is the best example you have to understand. Mr. Raju, I don't know if I can ex ask this question, it's hard to ask, but if you understand that this is just like rings of smoke and you, you break through the idea of space and matter, yeah. would there be any purpose in being here? That is the next. That is the next lecture. <laughs> I don't want to deviate from this. Okay. <laughs> Again, you have to come to the elementary class. <laughs> if I wanted to answer you, again I will come to the elementary. Right? I am speaking right. Elementary, elementary class. class. Now we are in the higher class. Okay. Let <laughs> us enjoy that. <laughs> okay. Fine. So, what, what you have to understand, whenever you are sitting in the space, you feel like you are sitting in the energy, <coughs> a lake of energy, not just in the room, mm -hmm. okay? Right. When, there is a, when there is a thought, the space will be activated mm -hmm. as your life force. Mm -hmm. but, but if you sit like this, idly, without any thought, and space will be like that, but you cannot activate the space, then it will become passive. Mm -hmm. It is a thought process. Right? It's, it's so simple, eh? mm -hmm. unless I said it is so difficult, mm -hmm. <laughs> it is so simple. <laughs> okay. When it is passive, we call it space. Mm -hmm. When your body stands in space, when your body stands in space, the space in your body is active, understand? When you are standing in the space, your space in your body will be active, you're active, and when you come out, when you come out, the same, the same space becomes passive and we call it space. Shall I, uh, shall I give you a beautiful example? Yes. Please. And I, I found it yesterday when I, when I am coming out of my room. Because I have been thinking uh, how to explain this meditation. That's why I am postponing that because it's not so easy. Then when I am coming out, when I opened my room, automatically the light was on. Again, when I pass from that light to the other room, it is automatically off. That is the best example. This last three days, I am, I am breaking my head. How I, what is the example I can give coming out of the space and coming into the space, space active and space passive? I don't know. I never think about the example. So I was thinking like that and like this, I am thinking about getting some example. When I come out of my room, it is automatically on. Mm. When I pass uh, from that place to the other uh, room, it is automatically 
I'm a good teacher, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so I am so happy. Oh, I got it now. This is what he is telling. If you feel that you are in energy, if you feel when you come to, when, when you sit somewhere or when you stand somewhere, if you feel the space, then energy, life energy will be there. Then space is active. And if you come out of that thought mm-hmm. and go to your business or something else or something else or something else, whatever it may be, come out of that thought, again space will become passive. That's why Master Maurya said in one of his lectures, one of his, uh, Master Dwarkul wrote uh, 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 about the teaching of Master Maurya. It is so beautiful teaching. When you are aware of, when you are aware that you are the God Consciousness, those are the moments of your life. We are living means whenever you are aware, the time, a second or a minute or hour, whatever it may be, when you are aware of your beingness as the God Consciousness, you are living. When you forget about it and live your own life, you are dead. Mm -hmm. That means not physical death. Mm -hmm. You are dead at God consciousness and you will become the man conscious. God conscious and the human consciousness. When you are aware that you are the God consciousness, uh, for me you are a living being. When once you come out of the God consciousness and uh, live with your human consciousness, you are dead to the God consciousness. It's a beautiful life. So what is what Master is telling? When you feel you are sitting in the space and the, you, you are activating itself, uh, the space is activated for you. Mm-hmm. And you come out of the space to go to that part, this space will become passive that space will become active. Say, I am here, the space is active. If I am here, this space is active and that space is passive. Again, if I come here, so the space is active because space is here, space is here, they both will talk to each other. Hi, how are you? We should not interfere. <laughs> there is the problem. We unnecessarily interfere. I am Dominic, a Swiss German, a uh, Swiss man. I am a Razu, I am a Indian, I am a Hindu. This is the interference. For this space, there is no Hindu and no Muslim and no India and no Switzerland. So we have to learn to live as a space mm-hmm. with God consciousness. Huh? This is not so difficult. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yes. But that is very difficult, but it is so, so beautiful. But uh, Mr. Raju, yes. like uh, if I look there and I forget about uh, this space, I ac- active that space that I'm looking there. No. No. That is passive to you. When you are there, that is active. When you go from there to there, then that space will become active. So, so what you are telling, what you are asking me, can I activate the space also? Yes. Next class. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are right. So he Thomas, Thomas is also right, you are also right. Yeah. He came down, you wanted to go up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Both are very good. I, I will explain to you afterwards. So you know, you are asking, uh, if you see in the movies, uh, or in the scriptures, uh, the great people, they disappear like that. If they stand like this and they disappear and mm-hmm. they appear somewhere. Mm-hmm. That is this. Mm-hmm. They totally dissolve themselves into the space, into the atoms. Mm-hmm. Again, uh, when they wanted to show up uh, mm-hmm. in some other country or some, some other place, our planet, again they made all the atoms bring together into the physical form and they will appear in the physical form. Again, when they wanted to disappear from that space, 
without any flight ticket <laughs> and another side. And they just dissolve into the atoms. Again, they go somewhere and they, again, they, 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 they will materialize with the same atoms. Master E.K. says, it will be possible in the 21st century, uh, the scientist, uh, not the spiritualist, Master E.K. says, scientists will come to that state, come to that uh, point, where a human being go to a chamber, mm-hmm. a small chamber, and he just uh, dissolves himself into the atoms. Again, he programs his mind to appear somewhere. Again, he will go to a chamber where he can, again, bring all the atoms, physical atoms, and he will take a form. It will be possible even to the scientist, the, uh, the scientist will grow up to that extent. What, what Master E.K. says? This, this was... Oh, sorry. <laughs> what happens when you make distance healing? Is it the same? Yes. Uh, for the gym, distance knows. healing, we don't want uh, this depth. Okay. It's the only thought process. Okay. For the distance healing, we don't need... Uh, to the depth of uh, this uh, level. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's a thought process. Okay. And uh, anyhow, you asked me, I'm telling you, when you feel healing, uh, we can do healings with a method or with a technique that is different uh, from healing with intention. Mm-hmm. Nothing but love. When you, when you understand healing is a science and healing is a method mm-hmm. and healing is a technique to heal somebody, then many things come into the picture. But we have to follow some methods and techniques in the beginning, it is a must, mm-hmm. you understand? Mm-hmm. And don't think uh, they are the small things, and, uh, they are all very important. Mm-hmm. But when, when you come to the next step, and intention plays the main role, intention. Mm-hmm. intention of love, mm-hmm. then the intention itself, itself takes uh, the shape, its own shape, mm-hmm. whether, we, whether it will travel uh, from our heart center, uh, travel from the space, and goes to the master and come again back. Mm-hmm. All these details, we do not worry about that. Mm-hmm. Suppose somebody is not well, and uh, we know that, and uh, if there is a wish inside, he should be all right with all your real love, mm-hmm. without any expectations, mm-hmm. without any programming. Then generally it will take its own course of action and uh, it will work there. You understand? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Again I will read again. When your body stands in space, the space in your body is active and when you when you come out, the same space becomes passive and we call it space. This is what I explained to you. Mm-hmm. The next sentence is, this is the truth of it. This is the truth of it. And your process of knowing, and this is the truth of it, and your process of knowing, it is called meditation in its true sense. This is the truth of it, this is the truth of it, and your process of knowing, when you wanted to know the process, when you wanted to know the process, what is the process when you are in the space, the space is activated, then we call it as active space. When you go out of the space, and the space will become the passive, because you, you come out of the, you come out of the space. This is a process. This is the truth. Mm-hmm. What Master is telling, this is the truth of it. And your process of knowing, this is called meditation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you try to understand the process, it is called meditation. You see how beautiful it is. Huh? Mm-hmm. Huh. So we feel meditation is doing some technique and mm-hmm. following some process and this and that. This is, this is telling, mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. You, to, yeah, when you try to understand what is the outer space and what is the inner space, when you stand there, and when you stand there, when you feel that you are in this space, how it will be active space. Mm-hmm. When you come out of it, and how it will become passive, and this space will become active. When you try to understand the process, itself is called the meditation. Mm-hmm. Right? And he is telling afterward, this is the truth of it, and uh, your process of knowing, 
it is called meditation in its true sense. It is called a med- in, in its uh, true sense. You see, next, not in the sense we use the word meditation blindly. This is the truth, I will repeat. This is the truth of it, and your process of knowing, it is called meditation in its true sense. Not in the sense we use the word meditation blindly. The, to understand, to know the understand, to understand and to, to know the process of it, it is a, it is a real meditation. But not uh, the meditation what uh, you feel blindly. Mm-hmm. This is the real meditation. This is the this yeah. is the true meditation. But we we call meditation in other sense uh, blindly without knowing. So beautiful, huh? mm-hmm. That's why he is a great master. Mm-hmm. I have read so many books in my life, yes, of the very great people. If they write hundred pages, master will explain in. Two sentences. <laughs> <laughs> so we are we are all so fortunate okay. to have such a great master. And uh, why I, I why I, I like Switzerland is he started his journey from Switzerland. Mm-hmm. He likes Switzerland very much. I don't know the reason. No. All our group uh, unknowingly master started from Switzerland. Of course, he started from Brussels, Belgium, mm-hmm. not Switzerland. And he started uh, from Belgium and then. Uh, he settled in Switzerland. Mm-hmm. He came just for seven times, that's all. Mm-hmm. Seven times he gave so many beautiful lectures. He gave, he traveled just for seven times. Mm-hmm. And uh, he liked Switzerland very much. Mm-hmm. After that, Master Parthi Kumar, he, for him, Switzerland has become the base. After that, uh, my friend Amaral, like, now he, he's not coming. He, he also came to Switzerland. And Master E.K.'s son, Ananda Krishna, and he used to come and for him, for his Geneva is the base for him, not uh, for me. I came uh, here and Basel was the base, the base, Basel. <laughs> Basel was the base, and now Logano is the base. It's just so surprising for all of us, uh, without knowing that Switzerland has become uh, the base for all of us. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe Dominic is here, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny, Raju. The, the best yogi from Switzerland went all the way to India to meet somebody huh. and couldn't get off the boat. Oh. Yeah. He, sent, he sent all his students, but he couldn't, he couldn't face going to speak to the man that he went to see huh. and back to Switzerland. Why? He couldn't face the man. Huh. He, he sent his students and says, you go and speak to him. Who is that? Yes, the yogi from Switzerland is called Carl Jung. Carl Jung? Carl Jung. He went all the way to Switzerland to speak to one of these men and couldn't go off the boat. Hmm. Right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he was interested in the dance. Who knows? So, I don't know about things, about this. From Carl Jung, Maharishi. Mm-hmm. And it's Maharishi. Maharishi. Yeah. Maharishi. Yeah. Maharishi. Maharishi. He is in Sadisberg. It's the lake of Lucerne. Yeah. Maharishi. Maharishi. He has a huge yeah. center there. But there is a center there opposite to Morsha. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. That's the one yeah. he talks about. What, what, what happened? Can you repeat? There was a, a very, very famous uh, I know. man, Cal Jung, and he went all the way to India on a boat and he wanted to go and speak to this. Maharishi. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ah. And when he got there, he, he just couldn't go off the boat. He just says, no, he says, I'm not getting off. I don't want to talk to him, huh? No, he just couldn't bring it up. For some reason, he but he was very interested. He yeah. wanted to go there and speak to this yogi. He sent his students to go and speak to him, but he, he couldn't face him himself. Mm-hmm. That's the story. Mm-hmm. Both ways. Switzerland. He conducted the course opposite to his mountain. <laughs> <laughs> You see, <laughs> you see, there is a. I will tell you a beautiful story about Mahesh Yogi and myself. Uh-huh. And uh, not story. Once, when uh, uh, my one of my uh, the founder of the trust, uh, along with Master VK, uh-huh. his name is Varma. Uh, because of him, our trust was here. He Master is not interested to form a trust. That man is interested. And then, uh, after some time, he left the group. Varma, who is the founder of the trust, he left the group. 
and somehow he went to America and he coming back and from Bombay to Hyderabad he was in the flight and some other man was sitting behind behind beside him they don't know each other and then they in the discussion uh, they found uh, I am the founder of the World Teacher Trust uh, with Master E.K. and oh you are the disciple of Master E.K. said I am no more disciple of Master E.K. I am disciple of Rajanish Osho uh -huh. and said then then the other man asked him, by any chance do you know Master C.H. and Raju he asked <laughs> The other man is like, uh, before Burma I am a child, is it? And then uh, ask you, by any chance uh, you are telling about the World Teacher Trust, and by any chance do you know C.H.S. and Raju? Yes, I know him. This man is thinking, by the time I am just 40 years old, this, this man was thinking after reading my books on astrology, I am some 80 or 90 years old. <laughs> Before, because uh, when, when he read my book and astrology, and uh, Raju is a big name. If you call Raju, it's not a small name. If you call him, if you come to India, if you call me Raju and people look at you, hey, why is this man is calling him as Raju? <laughs> the, the, and then he said, Raju is such a big man, he said. <laughs> said uh, this man was so surprised, and uh, what do you want from him? Sir, I wanted to see him, sir. <laughs> then he was laughing. <laughs> I don't know. And then, okay, anyhow, I will come to Hyderabad, and he will also come to Hyderabad. I will introduce you to him. By that time, I was, uh, I came to Switzerland three or four times, something like that. And this man telephoned to me and laughing, Oh, Master Raju, somebody wanted to see you. He is uh, some 65 years old, the other man. I telephoned to him and, and sir, I wanted to, you wanted to see me and I am in Hyderabad. I will come and see you. Sir, sir, please come, please come. He was waiting for me like anything, thinking I am a 90 or 80 years old. <laughs> wise man, a great master. I went with my t-shirt <laughs> and a beautiful fan. In those days, curling hair. <laughs> and he opened the door. Who are you? <laughs> I am Raju. You are Raju? <laughs> yes, sir. And uh, I was sitting there with him and uh, he said, I, I thought you are a very old man. Mm -hmm. So, no, sir, I am very young. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to be old. <laughs> and then, so I, I read your books, they are so beautiful. And uh, can you come with our group? He is the disciple of Mahesh Yogi. He said, Mahesh Yogi, and can you come with us and uh, we can take you to all the countries. I uh, will give you a secretary and a computer <laughs> and a house. You have to spend one month in one country. Like that, we will take you to all the countries. In those days, they used to pay 10,000 rupees per month. <laughs> in those days, in the 90s, 92,000 years, something like that. But for you, we pay 30,000 rupees <laughs> per month. We give the tickets and a secretary to you and a computer to you and a house and everything, we provide everything. What I have to do? You just give the classes on astrology and the consultations. And we will pay you 30,000. I will introduce you to Mahesh Yogi, or his uh, next one. And if you are prepared, you please tell. I said, I am sorry. <laughs> I am not interested. Sorry, it is a very great opportunity. You know what I said? Mahesh Yogi is like, like a child before my master. I know it exactly what is Mahesh Yogi. And what is my master? He is just like a child before my master. Why should I leave my master? So I'm, thank you, sir. Thank you for a good offer. Bye-bye. <laughs>
<laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, why I am telling you this is, we had uh, such a great master. But he never uh, tried to show it up. Uh, because we show it up, we get millions of people, what you will do with them? That is not the way of the masters. People have to understand, understand their goal, understand the purpose of their life, and they should be prepared to work for the humanity, not for themselves. Mm. Only when, when this thought come out of our mind, our heart, so now I am prepared to work for the humanity, for the welfare of the humanity. Then the real master come down and pick you up. Till then they are not interested. They are not marketing people. I used to, uh, all the time you give me the money, it's just, it's just for joke. And uh, they are not interested in that. They are interested in the people who are ready to work for the welfare of the humanity. That is the only qualification what they need. There is no second line. If you are prepared for that, then they will take care of you. Try. <laughs> Good, huh? She told all the things about my curling hair. Yeah. Especially. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir, thank you very much. So, the syllabus is... Uh, next time we will uh, discuss about Master Maurya. Mm-hmm. Now this time there is no time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Master Maurya and then... Uh, uh, this time we practice a lot. Uh, we practice every day. And if there is no time, practice a little thing. Uh, there is no time, practice home one day. And next day you practice the greetings. I try to do the prayer regularly. That, that is the only thing I ask you. Try to do the prayer regularly. And everything you will get out of the prayer, it, it is true. Other things, so if you practice, then the, the progress will be much more faster. Even otherwise, <coughs> the prayer is enough. And uh, read the books, and all the books are there in the website. Master's lectures are there in the, in the English. I don't think the lectures of uh, Master's are in German. Books written by him are in German language. But uh, I don't think uh, all the lectures given by him, uh, nobody translated into, job, into German, I, I'm sure. So you try to read in English, it's, it's my simple English. The four volumes. Uh, first two volumes, the name is Overseas Messages. Mm-hmm. Overseas Messages. First and second volume. Then third and fourth volumes, I have changed the names. There is a call Overseas Messages 3 and 4, but I put the name. The last book is last year, a, a wonderful lecture, Know Thyself. Mm-hmm. It's a very wonderful lecture, Know Thyself. Mm-hmm. One of the lectures name. This is the Spiritual Constitution. Overseas Messages 4. The one of the lectures, the name of one of the lectures. So you read those uh, lectures uh, uh, by yourself slowly. You can download them freely. So I don't think they put any money for it. And then when you read them and if any doubts, you please write to me or uh, you please ask me next time. It's not a big issue. That's why my lectures are there. And what I wanted to tell you, if you have any, if anybody have, if you have Wi-Fi is very fast here, Wi-Fi, oh. mm-hmm. and Wi-Fi is there, then you can uh, download WhatsApp, WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. If you download the WhatsApp and you send me the number WhatsApp, I will include your name in the WhatsApp. Then I will try to send you a few lines of the master, once in a while and once in a week or once in a day, the few lines. So it's a very important things. The master's sayings are very good. So you will find a lot of meaning in it. If you can understand by yourself, it is okay. Otherwise, uh, whenever we meet, we can discuss it. So that is the way you have to continue with the teaching. 
not so many sentences, I will put uh, three or four lines, beautiful lines, in the WhatsApp. You need not spend any money. Now you, now you are having the Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Download WhatsApp and uh, I will include you in my group. It's a wisdom group. Mm -hmm. My group name is Wisdom. I will, I will include uh, in them and uh, sometimes I will put it in my own language, you forget about it, and you, you can delete it. <laughs> and then if I, if I will put it in English for your sake. So download the WhatsApp and, uh, and I will send you some sentences to continue the teaching. That is good. Right? What else? Thank you for everything. Thank you. 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 Thank